ProSoft Technology Incorporated is proud to announce a major technological leap forward, making our communication solutions for the Rockwell Automation Control Logics platform much more convenient and even easier to use. We call it SIP Connect, that's C I P Connect, and it revolutionizes and streamlines the steps necessary to get ProSoft Technology in Racks communication solutions up and running on your Rockwell Automation Control Logics systems. The first ProSoft technology solution to benefit from this major technological innovation is our Profibus DP version 1 master for Control Logics, the MVI56 PDP MV1. The following presentation will introduce you to this exciting advancement and demonstrate just how easy it is to use. What's so special about SIPConnect technology? I'm glad you asked. Prior to SIP Connect, the only way to transfer an application configuration to an MVI56 module was by connecting to the module's serial configuration port. This meant the Control Logic system needed to be close to a desktop or laptop PC with a serial communications port so that a direct cable connection could be made between the PC's port and the MVI56 module's port. In larger plants with multiple systems and multiple modules, this direct connect method for configuring modules is not the most convenient or efficient way to accomplish this task. Enter SIP Connect. On SIP Connect enabled modules, SIP Connect replaces the direct serial communications method with a more convenient method using the existing Ethernet or ControlNet process networks. If your Control Logics application includes a Rockwell Automation 1756 Ethernet IP communications module, that's all you need to begin enjoying the advantages of our new SIP Connect technology. Are you saying that with SIP Connect, I will be able to use the same PC I'm already using to program my Control Logics processors over Ethernet from the convenience of my office or control room? Yes, that's what I'm saying. And the convenience of SIP Connect doesn't stop at the local Control Logics chassis either. SIP Connect takes advantage of the backplane bridging capability of Control Logics systems to allow configuration of SIP Connect enabled MVI56 modules located practically anywhere within the Control Logics process network. How does SIP Connect work? SIP Connect uses SIP paths to enable routing through Rockwell Automation Ethernet IP and ControlNet communications modules as well as across Control Logics backplanes to reach just about any SIP Connect enabled MVI56 module in the system in much the same way as Control Logics processors can be reached for program downloading from RS Logics 5000. So show me how easy it is to use SIP Connect. Okay, here's how easy it is. First, use the ProSoft Configuration Builder Utility, any revision 2.0.15.3 or later, to create your application-specific configuration that you will download to the MVI56 PDP MV1, just like always. Next, when ready to download, instead of selecting the Serial Port Download option, select the Ethernet option by selecting the 1756-ENBT. This will light up the SIP Path Edit button and allow you to build a path to a SIP Connect enabled MVI56 module. Now open the SIP Connect Path Editor. Click on the Add Rack and the SIP Connect Path Editor inserts a default path for you to use in the table. You will notice the Path Editor automatically sets the source module as the 1756 ENBT. At this point, change the default source module IP address to be that of the ENBT module in the same chassis as the MVI56 module. Leave the MVI56 module as the destination module selected and enter the Control Logics chassis slot number of the MVI56 PDP MV1. To complete the process, click on the Construct SIP Path button. This SIP path identifies a unique route through the Control Logic system from your PC to the ProSoft technology module you wish to configure. Click OK to return to the download screen. If you see a warning pop up asking if you want to create the path, select Yes to continue. 
Click on the test connection to confirm that the SIP path is correct. If so, you will see a pop-up box indicating you have successfully connected. Click on the download button to start the configuration transfer using SIP Connect. The download progress window will show the download in progress and indicate when it's complete. You will notice that downloading takes much less time than it did using the serial interface when you use SIP Connect. But what if my SIP Connect enabled MVI56 module is not in the same local chassis as a 1756 Ethernet bridge? What if my SIP Connect enabled MVI56 is in a remote chassis with no Ethernet interface and only a control net interface to connect through? Can I still get the full benefits of SIP Connect technology? Yes, you can. This is where the ease and convenience of SIP Connect really shines in its ability to bridge across multiple control logics networks and backplanes to reach SIP Connect enabled MVI56 modules in almost any location in the system. All that's needed to bridge through multiple networks to remote racks is a simple modification of the SIP path using the SIP path editor. For this presentation, let's select the 1756 CNB. Don't forget to put the local chassis slot number of the ENBT or CNB module into the destination module to complete the first part of the SIP Connect path. I'll use 5 in this case. Now, we continue the path to the remote rack where the next hop will take place in line number 2 of the SIP Connect path editor. Notice how if you pick 1756 CNB as the destination module in line number 1, a new line is added to the SIP Connect path. This new line number 2 has the source module pre-selected as 1756 CNB. If you had picked the 1756 ENBT as the destination module in line 1, then the SIP Connect path editor would be showing a 1756 ENBT as the source module in line 2. At ProSoft, we have tried to make the process simple easy and automatic. Next, change the source module node address to be the control net node number of the 1756 CNB in the remote chassis. Since the CNB of my remote chassis is control net node number 2, I'll enter a 2 in this box. See how the SIP Connect path editor assumes the destination module will be the MVI56 module and puts that in the destination module box. If you need to bridge through additional networks to connect to the SIP Connect enabled MVI56 module, you just keep repeating this simple procedure up to a maximum of six hops or lines with the MVI56 module as the final destination module on the last hop or last line. When you are happy with your entries in the path editor, just click the Construct SIP Path button as before, and the editor constructs the SIP path to the SIP Connect enabled MVI56 wherever it is in your plant. This powerful feature of our SIP Connect path editor relieves you of having to remember tedious syntax rules for creating correct, complicated SIP paths. Just a few simple fill in the blanks and you have a path to unparalleled configuration convenience. ProSoft even makes it easy and convenient to test your configuration by using the test connection button on the upload or download dialog boxes. If you entered a valid path in the SIP Connect path editor, you will immediately see the message successfully connected as soon as you click on the test connections button. You can now upload or download a module configuration via Ethernet using SIP Connect. What could be easier? All right, you've convinced me that SIP Connect is an easy and convenient way to configure my MVI56 module. But can I use it only for initial configuration, or does it have other beneficial uses? The benefits of SIP Connect don't stop after initial configuration. Once configured during startup and commissioning, you may need to do some troubleshooting of your Profibus network, or you may need to check the status of your Profibus slaves. To do this, you need to go online with your Profibus network through the SIP Connect enabled MVI56 module. Once again, SIP Connect will facilitate these tasks by allowing you to make a connection to your MVI56 PDP MV1 master in a remote chassis 
and do it from the convenience of your office or control room just like you did for the initial configuration download. Here again you see the Profibus network configuration we just downloaded to the SIP Connect enabled MVI56 module using SIP Connect. We can now also use SIP Connect to go online with our Profibus network. The online monitor modify option of the Profibus network screen in ProSoft Configuration Builder can now use SIP Connect to see current active online status of the MVI56 Profibus Master and any configured and attached Profibus slaves. Okay, now that is a useful feature. That's going to save me lots of time and trouble when I go to start up my Profibus network. So remote configuration and remote Profibus network troubleshooting, is that it? Or does SIP Connect offer any other benefits? There is one more noteworthy benefit I'd like to mention. SIP Connect works with ProSoft Technology Profibus COM DTM software to allow third-party asset management systems like FieldCare to take advantage of the benefits of remote access for configuration and management of Profibus slave hardware. This feature works much like the online monitor modify features in ProSoft Configuration Builder, giving these asset management applications a way to be run from a central location an office or a control room, and reach out to any Profibus slave attached to a SIP Connect enabled MVI56 PDP MV1 almost anywhere in the plant. Now that's convenient. Yes, it is. Well, you've convinced me that ProSoft Technologies SIP Connect technology is an amazing and versatile leap forward, one that will make my job easier and allow me to be more productive. I can't wait to start using SIP Connect.